Hello there everyone and welcome back to us playing as a Bone Cohort in Overall Blues. The Bone Cohort. I'm your host, Mr. Mucklover, but right now we are at war with good old Arroyo. And we gotta talk about disciplines and crabs. Which, I think I might have read last time, but... Uh, the Disciples of the South follow a strange kind of Christianity where the North is filled with crab cultists. Making an industry out of crab meat isn't a bad idea. And we have the founder first sight of the Pacific. But, as we ended the last episode... Eureka wants to beat the crap out of us, but Arroyo is already at war with uh, Four Ways and Eureka, so this might be the perfect time to jump in and make yourself known. Especially when the enemies aren't doing very much against them. So let's go and do this, anyways. So beat the crap out of them, see what we can do, take up some enemy territory and whatnot. Go ahead and get in there. But the Timberline Pathfinder. Bear Bunyan was holding back tears of anger and sadness. He was being led through the Timberline and chains in an uh, involuntary worker convoy from Walla Walla, or whatever name these enslaving screwers had given it now. He left the weak men, the women, and the children. And there was no freedom in Oregon anymore, but suddenly a vehicle came to the stop at the side of the Pathfinder from the inside of it. A voice from a man with bright green eyes spoke aloud. Show me the ways of the Pathfinders. Help us so your people are helped. Bear Bunyan will join us as the army chief. Oh, that's cool. Oh, special forces minimum capacity. All your people will be uh, told to work for us forever, basically. And it's all your fault. We're seeing if we can just do it all, like, exclusively. Oh! Well. Uh, the lands across the Colorado River once an unsaleable bastion under the command of the most powerful man in the world. A fracture in open conflict. The death of Kaiser ours led to potential various successes, rallying support and claiming the land before the rivals could. Avoiding conflict for the most part, it seems that the distentive situation has finally ignited, with fighting being reported all across the Legion lands. Reports of the loyal to the high ranking figures among the Legion, each of whom claims to be the Kaiser's true successor, are engaging in open combat, championing the cause of their respective leaders. The ones unified in seemingly unstoppable armies of Kaiser now tear themselves apart. It's unsure which of these claimants will emerge victorious and the title, uh, claim the title of Kaiser, but it's certain, however, that until this conflict is resolved, the wrath and might of the Legion has been temporarily silenced. The bull has been broken. Well, crap. There's Lucius. The Ma Pius cohort. Aurelius is Legion. Look, like Vulpus the most. They're probably the actual leaders here. Well, that's not good. Interesting. Rapidly, hopefully, gaining some uh, war participation and score. Fantastic, and all the screening ships too. All well, the hang dogs, nice. Um, hopefully, no one else wants to go to war with us. These guys are still fighting Eureka, um, but it might be the best for us. In all honesty, special forces, you go right there. Are we making any more special forces? We are, which is actually very good. Because a new four go right there. And new 16 go right there. Good luck. Very nice. Strong right flank. Good. More breakthrough and more speed is always good. We're going to get military engineering next. Very nice. Ooh, oh, this button too. Oh, we got them all done. Um. Or to the west, you have to choose one. The people of Arroyo worship the chosen one almost like a god, but they're not a god. We still haven't found them. We got a clue of driving them around the highway and killing our patrols. Maybe we start to make a uh, tournament debate. Too out to handle, huh? Because eventually we gotta do Port Mall conquest. Oh, a war claim war goes for whose lands, cork territories. A half of scum and villainy. The hotspot for slave trade and chem users. Of course, the latter can be removed, but the former will be a great asset. And we did hear the so-called Power Queen has a secret agreement with the Brotherhood, of course. The Crowlands. Having finally reached Atlantic, the legionaries had uh, never seen the sea were incredibly amazed by the sight of it all. The beauty and darkness of the water, the sea breeze, and of course, the corpses of the mire lurks everywhere. They were slaughtered almost to the last, but they let them escape with their eggs, keeping of the mile lurk alive to hunt for food or fun when needed, but the Bone Picker Ford and another of the people of the shared heritage of the Bone Dancers used to live in what will now be named L Lutum, 
the new capital in the west. The docks around the area were not of the best quality, so the main target was now to attack north and finally get a true port. The smell of the sea makes me sick. Hey, more planning is good. Awesome. Arago becomes Lutum. Fantastic. Um, what is New Reno busy with? So we still got 50 days left. Definitely doing all right. Slave upkeep, 12,000 slaves. Look at our pretty little pictures here. Not too much else. And we are still making stuff no matter what. Bicycles will be nice. Fort we don't really need as much. Hey, look at that. Economic resurgence is very good too. Uh, behemoths. Probably don't need behemoths. CNC bots. Probably don't need that. Support robots. Probably don't need that. Portable radios. Probably don't. Firing teams. Anti-tank. That's good to have. Don't get me wrong. Just extraction, perhaps? Maybe? So got a lot of road to build. Um, timber lines, of course, all nice and gone. Very good. Ship-wise. A lot of destroyers. The Jewel of Oregon. The Royal. The City. The Chosen One. The Destroyer of the Enclave. Tribal is technolo technological knowledge. So won't even question why they chose not to join the NCR, but there were too many things to ponder about. The cohort moved on to the enemy uh, city quite easily. And managed to surround the elders as they defended the Temple of Trials, uh, which was burned to a crisp with flamethrowers as no one got out and no one would ever go in again. The city became the city state of the southwest, named Arugia, Arugia, and the real board against the NCR. Our operations would be quite hidden and very secretive. We'd give the Arugians some autonomy and control over their borders, keeping the legend of the chosen one alive under our control. The royal changed his name to Arugia. Arugia? Named Coroner Royal, nice. Research speed and uh, factory output. Boreas takes a photo of the moment this, with his trusty camera. Of course, this will be your name and style of the Bone Core. We need to find the chosen one. What's this? Congress of the North. This will create the. Uh, Cataracta Tutula, a puppet state led by the Centurion Eridanus with the sole purpose of controlling the frigid North and supplying the Bone Cohort with slaves. Eridanus will stop being general and advisor as his new dudes will take most of his time. Port Mark Conquest. Doris. Well, that's a good thing we don't have Aerodonis in. I think you guys continue to kill each other as well. I want to see the new picture. Any new pictures? Car. Free Fighters, Sinaloa Cartel. Um, cool. Ah, oh, good. We're going to need at least you here for here? No. Here. Most definitely. Adanos. Good. Yeah. Because New Reno. Oh my god. Uh, we're going to save. That's pretty far south. That's a lot of border with the NCR. Well, there goes Mopai's Legate. So now they're going to war with us. Not idea. Oh, 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 I did not know that. Okay, hold on. Hold hold the phone. Wait, are they re how are they allied? Okay, I'm going to go back and actually like, make more divisions. Because this is kind of unacceptable. I love this on historical as well. What the heck? Yeah, that's just way too many divisions for us to handle. We can't we can't beat all these guys. So I mean, we can hold out against Nerina by itself. But 1v1? Yeah, there's no way we can do that. So I'm gonna have to go back and make uh, some other stuff. Conquers of the Northwest. We're gonna do about this one first, probably. It's probably be fine. Or I'll just extend it. Um, Conquers of the Northwest. Well, I'll probably have to wait for that one. Um, what else we got here? Nuclear mm, manpower wouldn't be bad. Mm, a dark gift, which we had last before. A clean gift with the help of the seraphs. We've managed to purify. Oh, I can't do this one anyway. One of the gags of the odious king, essentially rebooting it and cleaning it of foreign contamination. Perhaps we might be able to feel organ, heal organ fully. Legionary artisanship. While our industries of extremely poor quality and skill are artisans from the blacksmiths, the tailors and weavers have years of experience under the belts. They might not produce much of a machine, but the gears they created are the best quality. Women at home. 
and so train the young women to love their husbands and children, and be self-control, pure, working at home, kind, and submissive to their own husbands. That the word of God may not be reviled. Titus 2, 4, 5. Northern Forum, which I read it before, too. Uh, Novo Borean Farms. Uh, bone dancers never stop, taught much of farming developed in the evil Crimson Forest. Now we'll start a new Latifundia project by the shores of the Snake River, perfect for irrigation. The Trader Teeth. Our laws make it so that every person in our lands has no true personal property, but what about traders? They're not part of our nation, yet they will still willingly help us. Instead of seizing their goods, let's force them to pay a teeth to the bone centurion. West End Tools. Found a cache of old world tools. Legion foundries. Machines make for good prolific cutting. Improved Legion workshops. Machete gladiuses. They're sharper after all. Masterwork Legion artisans. Men from the south come to our lands to increase our arms production and thriving in the wastes. With the new tools and weapons, we are thriving pretty well in Oregon. All things considered. You love and live. It was a shining day, a burning day to be honest, as Astralis was working with several of the Flamethrower and Seraphite teams and burning the growing Crimson Forest. Even if you love the color of it, the thorny and dangerous floor needed to be stopped. After spending a few hours clearing the last huge remains of the forest, he was finally done. There always exist some small patches of that red growth around the forest of Oregon, but nobody minded it. Now I was finally able to go back to Nova Borea, not heading to the main plaza where the castrum nor the bone tent stood. Or bone tent stood. We went towards the quieter part of town where his house was. I was a bit hidden and out of the way, even if it was in a respectable place where the old legionaries lived with their families. Honey, I'm home, Australis said as he put his helmet on a nearby table and went to the living room, before he was almost assaulted by the little jumping gecko that was his girlfriend's seeds. Clinging onto a sentier armor like a mole rat, why did you take so long? Why do you smell like gasoline? Did you cook something? When are we going back to Arizona? Do you love me? When are we getting married? People get married, am I a slave or your girlfriend? I missed you. She spoke extremely fast as Australis grabbed and put her back on the ground, leaning to give her a kiss on the forehead and then patted her head. I want to rest. It was a long day. Australis spoke gently as Seas jumped and hugged him, giving the twin a huge kiss as she clung onto him. Sometimes he simply wanted to stay at home. I bet he does. Heaven's Gate Steamworks. There are all several connections to the steam's network and pipes in our lands. They are a great resource of energy and power, which will boost our industry. We don't control or understand how they work at all, but the few pilgrims in our lands have helped us in their connection. Idahoan. Idahoan designs. Technological tribals. Oh, we can't do that one, unfortunately. The Colonial Model. In each of our uh, town or city we conquer, in each outpost that we leave legionaries to secure, they'll put roots, they'll stay, they will mingle with the locals, and they'll teach them about, about what being a legionary means. Or legion. Um, we are not raiders, we are their masters, and maybe with enough time, they will learn our culture and laws given by those legionaries left behind, improving the agriculture output of each place, increasing the productivity, and getting us an even bigger share of spoils. And, of course, we need to buy female slaves. He who finds a good wife finds a good thing, and obtains favor from the Lord. Proverbs 18.22 It's very clear, though, the amount of craze and murders, raiders, cannibals, and tribes in Oregon. Docile and serviceable women for breeding will be hard to find. We can deal with different slave traders to fix our current problem and bring stability to our cohort. Mention camp followers. As our army marches forward, our men need their own entertainment and care. The women who willingly follow our men into the camping or campaigning will get better accommodations, and there's nothing better than having nurses already waiting to comfort a legionary after a harsh battle and a cohort of slaves. To be very important to do. Files and lines of chain, a slave's chain to walk beyond the mighty cohorts of the co cohorts of the cohort. Port Moss slaves, the Bone Dancer said slaves to eat, and the Timberline freed slaves. But the Bone Cohort, it's a cohort of slaves, and the nomadic lifestyle. <coughs> Every little square of land that the Bone Cohort conquers, it's a new plot of land that a future legion uh, will follow. Every little house or ruin, a future mansion for its owner. Maybe one day the legionaries will stop marching, but for now, Oregon is our home. All right, everyone. So at this point, I just had to use cons commands. I mean, this is pretty tough to do. I mean, I can't fight. I can fight Nerino by itself, but not with Vault City and the Burrows. So um, Nerino's at war with the Guardians, but I'd use some cons commands to make sure that you know we don't get completely destroyed. But oh well, it is what it is. We've actually had a couple things autocomplete as well, such as uh, the Legions of Bone. The Oregon belongs to us. We are on time. Kaiser's will be done, and the New California Republic will burn. We simply wait for his command. This folks will autocomplete when the deadline ends. If Kaiser's at war with the NCR, you'll get new deadlines, which will force you into the war with the NCR, so pay attention and do your mission. Oh. Well, that's not good. Men rifle territories from Eureka. Yeah, so. Which kind of sucks. Where is it? Um. Oh. Kaiser sent you north for a mission. Complete it. If not complete within zero days, we get plus 20% resistance. Oh. Kaiser is a war you have to obey. It completes the focus the northern flank. Open up the eastern front. Northern flank? Wait, where is the northern flank? Oh. Well, I already completed it once. 
Kazu gave us a mission. We'll complete it. We'll help the Legion in their attack. The Ensor will crumble like paper and finally we'll be reunited with the Brethren to the South. True to Mars. No wonder we always lost our manpower. This is, a, this is ridiculous. We're on a store. We are on historical. I made sure we're on historical. But uh, the Legion broke into a civil war again for the second time. So things are falling apart here again. Um, which really, really sucks. Like, this is ridiculous. So, Smod's not perfect. There's a lot of fantastic things about it, but it really, really sucks. Um, in the meantime, I, we're going to do the boring works. A massive industrial project has been undergoing in the capital, with a big amount of slaves gathered in our campaigns. So likely it be easily done and expanded. Future endeavors are encouraged by the Centurions. So, up the core creation costs as well. And I get why they buff them, but, like, I, we can't handle all this. Like, going to war with New Reno doesn't make any sense. I mean... The way this campaign has been conducted, just, eh, uh, It's just not great. This is the, probably the worst thing. I hate using cons commands, but, like, I can't fight Vault City and these guys at the same time. It's just, it's literally impossible. You just don't have enough manpower. And you can't core anything, too, which is god-awful and ridiculous. Look at all the resistance now that we have for literally no reason. So bad. It's got economic resurgence, which is nice. That war band don't really care. Uh, putting down as much resistance as humanly possible, but it's just never enough, you know? Uncivilian unrest. Less compliance, plus resistance, which I do like. So, I mean, soldier for soldier, our gods are just better overall. Don't get me wrong. But still. Getting scone. We'll do that one next. It's fine. Um, we're expanding on a lot of things here, but it just, it just really sucks. That we tried extremely hard to do well, and we are, we're playing basically a hard mod, but it just—it's not—it's not there yet for some reason. Going to clip them off would be very nice. This would have been smart to do if you went here. Luckily, these guys went to war with these guys here too. The Legion, their soft attack, HP, organizational loss, moving, experience soldiers' losses. It's good. It's very good. Um, tribal stuff? We can't do a lot of engineering, unfortunately. Bumper swords? Still ahead of time. Capital Hill has fallen. Well, New Arena, which is finally good, thank God. This has been so stupid, it's not funny. Because it locked us out of everything else we wanted to do. So stupid. Like, why do we need infantry equipment in this? This stuff still. All roads lead to bone. Why do we need at least all this stuff? This, this just eats up all this manpower for no reason. I don't like this. This makes literally no sense. No wonder we'd have enough infantry equipment. It, it's, it's, I, I question sometimes why things are the way they are, you know? What else can we do? Because I don't want to fight the NCR yet. I mean, I'd rather take the... We're still going to take the hit, no matter what. Give our population this way. Because we have no manpower. We can't even do this stuff. Because we have war goals against whom? NCR, four ways, in Eureka. We can't fight... The, we literally cannot fight the NCR. So Northern Angeli. Give her the fruit of her lands, of her hands, and let her... Stop it. Uh, work, praise, her in the gates. Women have always supported their sons and husbands they want to, as they went to war. That should be good, too. Now give women maybe some rights? Maybe? This will not go well with the Centurions. You'll only be able to take this focus if you kill everyone else. I'll give more political power, which is not bad, but we don't really need it. No, precision is good. Was this, uh, factory repair speed, free repair. Research about blimps. The focus was build doable, double the blimps per batch. We're going down here, so. A hidden recruitment law. Never available. Ghost noises. Spooky. Huh. Flyboy. River pirate. Is 
We are a legion. Prolificates? We get more daily compliance, but that's not really the issue. Factory output. Um, slaves are fine. Manpower. A lifetime. Tibia has snapper been a slave ever since the Bone Cord came to his home near Jordan Valley due to his limp after a Brahmin had stepped on his leg as a child. He was never chosen to become a legionary. He was forced to do menial tasks, a servitude and utter squalor. Sometimes he cursed at the gods, sometimes looked at his old neighbors with resentment. As they were legionaries, they laughed at him, they made fun of him, and he felt like fate had given him the worst path that was possible. Everything changes one day as part of the workers of one of the bone roads, repairing the small stones that had slid off due to a landslide, lifting his eyes. As though sweating his life on the cold Oregonian sun, it was covered by something. A truck had stopped in front of him, he saw the pin of the bone centurion, the man in the brought a misery to him, staring down at him with green eyes, not being able to open his mouth as it was so dry he could not even mutter a word. Here we have here have some water. Borealis said as he handed the man his own water skin. With a stern look in his face, simply letting the slave grab the water skin and gulped it down his dry throat. And utter silence until a tibia snapper emptied it on his throat, handing it back to the bone centurion. Keep working, it gives you purpose. I promise you that one day you will sit comfortably Nova Borea and you have your own slaves to serve you, my friend. Honestus Industria Prudentia. I remember those words. The bone centurion says he put a collar on the man above, a, above his slave collar. A collar made him a few, made of human finger bones. True to Borealis. Tibia snapper muttered, grabbing onto the collar that was given to him. Independence of four ways guaranteed by the NCR. We can't go to war with Umbra, can we? Eureka, four ways new NCR. God dang it. My god, and we're already in their faction. And Volpus, for the second time, is here. Kaisis Drusus. Oh my god. What a mess. Like, this is terrible. I can't even justify anybody now, because we're in April, because, uh, because of reasons. How much would it take to core all this? Well, it's better, but we need less resistance. No, we don't want to go to war. Not yet. This legion. We need more manpower, but we don't have enough. It just drains us of everything. It makes literally no sense. Arbitrarily just drains us of stuff. I guess we're gonna go to War of the Guardian Brother too now. Do we need more resources? No, we're good. Come over here. Wait, what? Oh, we gave it? Oh, shh, Nikes. Well, that's not good. Um, it looks like we'll be forced to go to war, which is incredibly stupid. I mean, this it's one thing to be a difficult mod. It's another thing to have literally impossible odds against you, so... Oh, looks like I gotta go back to the drawing board again. Old Commonwealth roads, the old roads that used to link up the nation that existed in these lands, are pretty well done. Uh, roads like communities. Local merchants are starting to build little training posts on the sides of the city-states. Selling goods and serving as local community hubs. Legion training. We need to train for battle all the time, that way we'll always be ready. Metal detectors. Our scouts have procured a new tool, a metal detector, that we can use this to detect metal, scrap, metal and scrap, even underground. Uh, clean water. The most important thing for a slave well-being is water. Let's improve our uh, trade of water. Northwest Commonwealth Army's caches. People who live here seem to be storing a good deal of things. Luckily, in preparation for some sort of perceived invasion from an enemy across the sea. Local communities. The communities that have sprung up here are numerous and plenty. Skyscrapers of the north. Even the skyscrapers are certain to be reclaimed. Few can rival us if we settle in the greatest city details of the old world. So, once again, I basically had to use consonants because this has just turned into a, a giant mess. Like, my god, this is a giant, giant mess. So, the Legion is still in their civil war, trying to kill each other off. I've been trying to fight the NCR so we don't get any more resistance. 
Um, you just don't have enough of anything to do anything here, really, to be successful. I mean, yeah, we can get Oregon, but then the time limit for us to do everything is okay. But then you have to go to war with them immediately, and the NCR has a crap ton of divisions. You can't do anything about it. And you have, at most, maybe less than 35. So, yeah. And if you don't go to war with them, you get extreme resistance, no matter what, which doesn't make any sense. I've, you probably should have been cutting people down like crazy. And you know, there's a lot of slaves, you know. But whatever. Um, so I've been finding this to be very extremely difficult. At this point, it's not very much fun. Um, just trying to work through all these uh, little issues here and there, and I just can't seem to do it. So I've been using cons commands in the end as well, trying to make it a little bit more balanced and fair. So at least we can hold the line or do something like that to make sure that we don't completely just completely die here. Um, in the meantime, um, I mean, obviously this is our first campaign, so oh, and I'll come back to this in the future too, because but we're not done yet. Because there's another warden which we will take. We hopefully would like to do no strings on us someday in a future update. Because we got to get married, we got to find our mom, we got to accept an offer, and have records missing. And then maybe some other day we'll do the March South, which I don't want to be integrated into the Volpus Legion. I'd rather do it when uh, Kaiser are still alive and whatnot. But we're going to do a few more focuses and then call it an episode, and then I'll keep going with this off screen. Le Legends of the Road Warriors. The Road Warrior was the greatest raider and driver of the whole wasteland, it seemed. He was a hero, a warrior more than anything, a myth. The legend of the Road Warrior lives in the minds of the Bones Dancers after they fought against him, and even the old leader Cranium was a child taken by the Road Warrior and taken to Crow's Haven. Vehicles have been part of the Bone Dancer last off ever since, going up and down the hills of Western Oregon. Chariots of Oregon, uh, oh, this one first. Oregonian scrapyards. As the Bone Corps was a wandering army, having enough vehicles in a hazardous task, but the huge amounts of vehicles still working due to the lack of the bombings in the Great War. More and more hidden garages have been found with those, and new technologies have improved to improve. Chariots of Oregon. Of course, in our dangerous imperialist trip to Oregon, we were not able to bring it to a Sunian chariots, but now with all the support and vehicles of the road warriors, our first northern chariots are ready to roll, yet supply them will be our most arduous task. Unlock all the technologies for the development of chariots, and two divisions of the finest motor chariots will be raised from the capital. Scavenging experience, every enemy defeated, from a death cloud to a brotherhood knight, always leaves their spoils. From the height of an animal, a new uniform can be created. From a downed soldier, the gear and guns can be recovered. A core shines and reusing and learning from whatever we can find. Fortress of Oregon. For someone does not know how to manage his own household, how will we care for God's church? 1 Timothy 3.5 The missionaries stole the bone dancers, and they were right. We will build fortresses out of Nova Boria and Cardinalis, so no one will ever doubt our control over our people. And so we can't do that one. Mm, Save so color tricks. So I think I heard this one before. So, uh, if you want to read this one again, please go ahead. And meet for the grinder, we'll do next too. Recruiting for menial slaves is never a good idea. A slave is selected for menial labor when they are clearly not fit for combat, but every system has its cracks or mistakes. By doing regular checks and prompts in groups of slaves, we can get several volunteers for a cohort, many who have been molded by the harsh back-breaking work into Mars' chosen legionaries. And slave repair auxilia. Where there's a whip, there's a way. Where there's a whip, there's a way. Where there's a whip, we don't want to go to war today. But Lord of Lash says, nay, nay, nay. We're going to march all day, all day, all day. Where there's a whip, there's... Oh, way! But if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like. Please, it'll help me out. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see what else we can do. And hopefully not use any more cons commands for the Bone Cohort. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.